So I think Red Wings actually discontinued these boots, which makes it a bit tough to do a review on them, because like, why would I review something that no one can buy, right? But because it's Red Wing, which is everyone's favorite American boot company, I'm gonna review it anyway. Because A, they might bring this model back. B, this leather is available on many other Red Wing boots. C, I already paid for them and spent a month walking around in them, so I'm gonna do my damn video. And D, I got an interview with a guy who makes the leather for Red Wing for this video. How are you? Today in this very special video, I'm speaking with Futako Mejia, the Senior Director of Global Business Development at SB Foot Tanning Company. That's a tannery owned by Red Wing in Red Wing, Minnesota. This tannery is over 100 years old and being always proud of the products that they do. Everybody in the tannery takes pride of been making leather for such a long time. And Red Wing Shoes also is proud of the products that we do. And we try to do uh, the best uh, leather and boots uh, that we can do with all the American-based uh, products. So I was lucky enough to bring Plutaco on and he's gonna talk about this iconic leather from SB Foot, the Hawthorne Mule Skinner leather. Red Wing's best known and usually their only rough out leather. First, let's quickly describe the Rover boot I've got here. This is the Rover boot. Some call it Red Wing's easiest to break in plain toe boot. Others call it a transitional boot from the mock toe to the harder sold blacksmith or like the Iron Ranger as well. Basically, the Rover boot is Red Wing's blacksmith boot with a crepe rubber sole. It's precisely the same shoe as the blacksmith otherwise. Same stitching, same speed hooks, same rolled edges on top, same fit, same sizing, everything. It's similar but not identical to the Capto Iron Ranger. In fact, I have a video with 10 differences between the Iron Ranger and the blacksmith you should check out up here somewhere. But to keep things simple, this is a plain toe, round toe, heritage style work boot, just like the Red Wing Blacksmith, but with a rubber sole. This sole is crepe rubber, and while it doesn't look like it, it is in fact the exact same material as Red Wing's iconic mock toes sole. It's a different shape, the grip are different, but it's the same surface, it's the same exact uh, rubber. In other words, the rover is the neglected child of the blacksmith and the mock toe. You might call it the bastard child actually because it's not recognized as part of the family anymore. Maybe it'll be back on the market by the time you watch this video if you're watching it in the far distant future and there's a Red Wing store on the moon. For now though, the rover in Hawthorne mule skin leather is an unobtainable Red Wing boot. I've been wearing these boots pretty hard and they have actually picked up a bit of indigo from my jeans, which is either cool or unfortunate depending on your disposition towards indigo on your boots. But let's get to the main event, the leather. I'm ready. <laughs> Here's Plutaco explaining how SB Foot's leather is made. We made the leather starting with uh, American steers. We just use American hides, stand it in our tanneries. We have a blue implant in South St. Paul, and then we have a retaining facility in Red Wing Shoes and a finishing facility then we made the shoes in Red Wing shoes in the, our plant to our shoe factory. True to Red Wing's ethos, this is really American stuff. The leather is made in Minnesota, which is where the boots are made afterward, and it comes from American cows, usually from the meat processor JBS, or from meat packers that are usually in Iowa or Illinois. We buy the highs to meat packers, like uh, for instance, uh, GBS, or, or we buy highs, uh, in Iowa or uh, in Illinois, and, and where we find a big packers that can, can give us a consistent size the steers where we find the best quality, the thickest leathers with the less amount of defects. We would use just a very heavy leather, 2.2 millimeters. This is one of the highest in the industry. Most of the other brands use a lighter weight and that give to our products uh, and the strength and resistance uh, over the time that they are very strong. So let's talk about tanning. How is Red Wings leather tanned? You might be familiar with the term oil tanning, but some leather workers consider this a bit of a misnomer because leather is either vegetable tanned or chrome tanned or a combination of the two. So what is oil tanned leather? The oil tanned leather is a concept that was created where we have uh, the drums which is a mixer. We put the highs inside and then we put the veg extracts from different trees that we import from uh, South America or from Italy, depending on which one. And then 
we penetrate the fibers with these products to give the compact uh, fiber the structure, and then we put oils uh, in the leather. It's, uh, Beach, is chrome tan, beach retanning with oils. But the common thread with oil tanning is that while it's chrome tanned, the leather has a ton of oils and often waxes added to it that increase the water resistance and the softness and the durability. You don't have to condition oil tan leather as much as most other kinds of leather. So that's Red Wings leather at large we've talked about thus far. Hawthorne Mule Skinner is Red Wings signature rough fat leather, meaning it's your normal leather flipped inside out. So the nappy flesh side is on the outside. It's not the same as suede uh, because suede is split and it's much thinner. Rough fat is actually famously tough and was used on army boots during the world wars. As for the recipe of the oils with this leather. We have a, an oil that is based mainly in uh, heavy parts of uh, fish oil, and, uh, but mainly is a uh, veg oils like a lecithin. Uh, but this is an a special combination of oils that give this a uh, warm feel uh, to the leather. Natural oils mainly is what is in that leather. We don't use uh, petroleum-based oils for this kind of finishing. Those mineral oils are more for waterproof leather and some other leathers. But this Mule Skinner, Oro Legacy, Amber Harness, these typical leathers, we use these natural sources oils and sometimes waxes like a beast waxes a uh, base waxes combined and yes you did hear him say that fish oil goes into this leather it's yeah. a special fish oil from uh, cold water this can be made from uh, countries as alaska or from other fishes like uh, in germany or norway they have to be fishes from extremely cold water that develop a special oil that is much more high quality. Once that the leather is buffed and we try to cut the nap as short as possible and even the nap in different areas from the leather is not the same fiber in the butt than in the heads or in the bellies, we try to even the nap as much as possible. So that's everything about the leather. The Rover model at the moment is no longer available to buy from Red Wing, but if you do happen to buy it, or if you found one and you found this review trying to decide if you should buy it, assuming it's buyable again one day, I'll say this, the break-in is a lot easier with this than with a blacksmith because the sole is softer. And it is generally understood that if you're walking for hours and hours, this boot is better than the blacksmith because it's softer underfoot. Potential downside is that it's even less formal than the blacksmith. That's uh, that's it, that's my review of the Red Wing Rover and this is like my interview review combination video. This is a really cool leather exclusive to Red Wing. The boot is a softer version of the blacksmith and if you hate the sole, you can just get it replaced with a Vibram mini lug and turn it into the blacksmith. You can read a full article of this video in the description below along with the original blacksmith video if you wanna learn more about the ins and outs and the fit and sizing of this boot. And make sure you subscribe as well because I got a lot more boot reviews and uh, interviews, little documentaries and other sorts of heritage wear stuff coming up.